being with YouTube is essentially like getting hired for a job and then having no supervisor to tell you what work you're supposed to do or having no supervisor to even tell you what the fuck is going on or that you're getting a pay cut and you don't know why or that you're uh, the reports that you're making and the things that you're doing are getting disapproved by corporate and you have nobody to talk to. Then you try and go to talk to the person that hired you and they deleted their channel. Okay. <laughs> you try to go to the person that hired you and they're no longer doing the same type of content. They're just completely different. They're not even the same person anymore. Bad news, bad. Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that there is new merch available and you guys can find those links down in the description section. Also, consider subscribing to my Patreon. It helps me make bigger and better videos way more often for you guys. So please check that out. What's going on fam? It's your boy Just Jay Sama and today I got another video. Um, I'm actually recording a bunch of these same day because I'm out of town. So, um... What I do want to bring up is today's topic. So today's topic was submitted in my Discord and all it was was a YouTube Red logo. Now, YouTube is in a very interesting space right now. So if you're a YouTube content creator, I'm sure you know what it is that I'm talking about. I'm sure you're, maybe some of you guys aren't worried, but maybe some of you guys are interested to hear other people's opinions about it. Or maybe you just don't care and you clicked on this video and you're just like, YouTubers don't really have it that hard. But let me tell you, Yes, we do. Okay, it is a problem. Now, somebody like me, who's extremely low level, I mean lowest of the low level, like like I'm on the 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 part of where it's like it's questionable if I even have ads at this point. So that's how down the totem pole I am. So YouTube don't give a shit about somebody like me. Let me just tell you right now. YouTube don't give a shit about nobody under Let me just be generous. 50k. YouTube don't give a shit. Really, when you think about it, there's more people registered on YouTube that don't have like channels and stuff like that that do. That's the average person just has a channel that they're never gonna upload to. So, and that's just not, I don't mean that as you have an account. I mean, that's like people who attempt to upload videos and like be somewhat confident in their ability to make content. Um, but then they always have the loudest and most annoying things to say, like how you should run your channel. <laughs> bitch um but anyway <laughs> essentially what i wanted to talk about today is the state of youtube now there's no way i could have one specific answer on how to fix youtube but i wanted to focus on youtube red today so youtube red has officially um just youtube in general has put out this tweet here um that's really just listing a bunch of creators that are not YouTubers, they're celebrities coming over to the YouTube platform, which honestly, I just find to be number one, appalling. Number two, just why fucking bother? And number three, disgusting on YouTube's part, because it's like, I get it. Movie stars want to be YouTubers. They want to be closer to their fans and obviously monetization, but they just want more. First of all, you're a fucking movie star. You don't, I don't need to be seeing Kevin Hart as a featured channel and he's not a YouTuber. Kevin Hart is not a YouTuber. Will Smith is kind of a YouTuber, but I do not need to be seeing these things. Like just take the you out of YouTube. Like just remove it 100%. And I, I referenced this in another video, my buddy Sky Williams, okay? And I say my buddy because I genuinely connect with this guy. I think me and this guy would have some great conversations, especially regarding just being black and extremely entertaining and just being seasoned chicken what i i don't like to see is youtube really like pushing so hard for these people that are not genuine creators they're not youtubers i mean given they have access to the youtube platform but does that make you a youtuber no no it fucking doesn't i don't believe that it does but you know what it is what it is let's give them benefit of the doubt now YouTube has this very interesting situation with YouTube Red where they're giving all these celebrities YouTube Red shows. Now, I always thought that was very interesting considering post adpocalypse, you would be trying to push more family friendly YouTubers or more like actual YouTube content creators that are advertiser friendly, excuse me. And I just thought of a quick remedy a long time ago that I've really just decided to put into a video post adpocalypse. Okay, so number one, I would just like to say as far as YouTube Red series goes, I've seen a couple of them. They're boring as fuck. Okay, they just really are. Now, given I haven't seen Cobra Kai yet, and I've seen a lot of the Corridor Digital stuff that was made. Corridor Digital just makes dope shit. 
Do they make the best shit available? Do they make the best shit out there? No, the fuck they don't. You know who should have a YouTube Red series? RDC World, okay? These guys are a perfect example of people who make great content, but have really shitty production value. Like, they really need the help. Like, my guys hit millions and millions and millions of views every single video, but their just production quality just is not, not getting there. And see, that's a whole different thing that I want to talk about as far as being a content creator and creating content. Those are sometimes those, those things just don't cross. And I feel like this is one of those bigger conversations that we can have on a different episode of Canon Culture. So, but today what we're talking about is the fact that these guys should be supported with a YouTube Red series. Not saying that PewDiePie or Logan or Chris Paul, or not Chris Paul, fuck, what's that other guy's name? What's the other Paul's name? We still don't fucking know. Okay, yeah, either either of the Pauls. I'm not saying that the, these guys are any less deserving of it, which they kind of aren't. But there are people who are clearly more deserving of it that, let's be real, some are advertiser friendly, some are not. Now, somebody like myself, I would love a YouTube Red series. I would create a short film, or I would do a series, or I would just do, I don't know, YouTube Red, YouTube Red approved podcast or something like that. You know what I mean? Like where there's a certain number of advertisers that are confirmed can work with these people. There are so many people on this platform that should have YouTube Red originals, but for some reason they don't. And they're ad friendly, number one. They have millions of views, millions of subs, and they just sh should just be brought into this exclusive club of making content. That doesn't mean that their content isn't worth putting on YouTube Red. It's just you have so many things that you have access to because of the YouTube portion, because of all your actual content creators. Kevin Hart doesn't have time to create an entire new series every single week and then adapt to that. This man is doing stand-up shows. He's shooting movies. He's doing promotional deals. He's doing stuff for Instagram. He's doing stuff for Twitter. He's doing stuff all over the place. This man does not have time to be an actual YouTube creator. You know who does? Ethan and Ela of H3H3. Now, given, yes, they curse. Yes, they talk about some things that are not safe for work. But how many advertisers should they have access to? A lot. That would approve of their content. Therefore, they need a YouTube Red original series where they do things that are ad friendly. That are, that are friendly to certain type of advertisers. Okay, best believe Pepsi or Coca-Cola or anybody else would be willing to jump at H3H3 making YouTube Red content, okay? Because it's not like they're out here making some radical type of videos that are, that are you know, getting demonetized or anything like that. And because of this huge demonetization wave, it makes it hard to find pre-approved creators that you can give a YouTube Red original series to. Because just like a television show, there are ratings. Just like a television network, excuse me, there are ratings to certain things. And so if you're within a certain rating bracket, maybe if you're popular enough, YouTube can hit you up with a YouTube Red original series and say, this is PG, this is PG-13, this is R, and then this one is, you know, mature audiences only. You know, 17 up type of shit. Okay, I wanna see diversified stuff reach, reach out there, YouTube. This is a problem that you have, that your platform is dying and that people are really just trying to find a way out. Best believe there is no platform like YouTube. Nothing like YouTube exists. I remember, couple years ago, was this a year and a half, maybe two years ago, everybody was trying to jump ship to VidMe. Like a bunch of people really thought that was going somewhere. Who watches shit on VidMe? The only people going to VidMe are frustrated content creators thinking they're gonna get something out of it. Really, it's just, it's not the same as YouTube. That You don't get as many clicks. You don't get as many people watching. Like why would you upload to a dead platform? You also have people jumping and diving into Facebook again. Like Facebook being a thing and people creating Twitter content. like. These other forms of content and other forms of monetizing but not monetizing is we're monetizing on the support that we get from some of these platforms is like, it, it's just ridiculous. YouTube is the Mount Olympus. YouTube is Mount Olympus. It really fucking is. But when Zeus leaves and stops paying attention to all the shit that's going on on the mountainside, shit starts getting fucked up and the next thing you know, you got Kratos running up the side of that bitch just killing everybody. So that, <laughs> that that's just, one specific scenario or being with YouTube is essentially like getting hired for a job and then having no supervisor to tell you what work you're supposed to do or having no supervisor to even tell you what the fuck is going on or that you're getting a pay cut and you don't know why or that you're 
uh, the reports that you're making and the things that you're doing are getting disapproved by corporate and you have nobody to talk to. Then you try and go to talk to the person that hired you and they deleted their channel. Okay, <laughs> you try to go to the person that hired you and they're no longer doing the same type of content. They're just completely different. They're not even the same person anymore. Like they're just completely different. They're one of your peers now. Matter of fact, they're almost underneath you based upon how many views that you're fucking getting. If there's anything that I personally believe is that everybody can eat everybody can fucking eat especially on the youtube platform because there's no such real thing there's no such real thing as competition because you can there's an abundance of attention there's 7.5 billion people on the planet okay somebody's clicking a fucking video somebody's clicking a video after that okay because if we were if everything was all about originality originality best believe there would there would be no gaming channels everybody would be like oh somebody already made a video on that i can't make it so Red Brad already put out his, his playthrough four days before the game came out. I can't play that game now. I can't play it. Everybody's already seen it. For what? It's not original. But best believe, just being yourself is original. That's about as original as you can get. Going back to the YouTube Red thing. Personally, I would love a YouTube Red series. I know some other people that would love a YouTube Red series. And just pick the advertisers that are willing to support these specific shows and pick the advertisers that are willing to support these specific creators. It's, it's like being MTV and saying, you know what, Nick Cannon is really, really doing it over here with Wild and Al. We're going to give him some more money so he can hire more people. Where does Nick Cannon go? He goes straight to Instagram. He goes straight to the internet. He goes straight to all Dev Digital. He goes straight to some of these other networks, the full screen network and stuff like that, and just picks these people out. So, you know, not that's me saying all this because I'm very jealous and I'm waiting for my turn, but it's not my turn yet. So really, uh, YouTube, you're in a very good position to really push a lot of your not safe for work creators and put them in a safe for work position. As in, they're safe to keep working. They're safe to keep making content that essentially makes YouTube some more money. I don't understand why YouTube is not really pushing hard at the people in between 100,000 to a million subs because if you're at 100,000 subs, you're most likely making some type of good content. Some type of good content. You don't have like these radical ISIS videos and all this other shit that really pushed forward the adpocalypse because a lot of people like to put it on PewDiePie and it's really not him at all. Like maybe 2% of his responsibility. It's literally all these fucking assholes who are uploading movies, uploading music uh, that, that's copyrighted, that doesn't belong to them, and getting just tons of views, uploading ISIS recruitment videos, uploading swastikas, uploading uh, white supremacist videos. Most of these people have less than 100 subs. So most of these people have less than 1,000 subs. So that's why the bar to even monetize is 1,000, which was a great part on YouTube. Thank God I'm finally over that hurdle. But still, <laughs> um, it's it's they've put things in place to where it can't get any worse. It shouldn't get any worse, yet it is. And honestly, I have no solution for the entire thing except for give some of your best creators who want to make series and who want to do things like this, give them YouTube Red Originals. And that's just how I feel about it. So now we're about 14, almost 15 minutes in, and I want to give you guys a solution because there's no way that I give advice and present all these problems and things like that without providing either a solution, uh, some advice, or just giving you guys some type of lesson. So today, uh, what that is, is I want to let you guys know, number one, if you're a YouTuber, if you're a content creator who is under, let's say 10,000 subs, because really you ain't shit if you're under 10,000. I mean... It, we're just not. We're just, we're the bottom of the barrel, guys. We are literally opal tier. We're not bronze. We're not. We're fucking paper paper mache tier, okay? Because back in the day, it was bronze, gold, silver, you know, fucking uh, platinum, diamond. You know, there's all these tiers to YouTube, right? So if you had to put increments on it, everybody, you know, like every, you know, 5,000 is like bronze, 10,000 is, you know, fucking silver or whatever. These aren't the actual scales. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's certain scales in here. So... That was back in the day. Everybody had tears and stuff like that. So if you had to put yourself in a category of like, would YouTube give a shit about me? A billion dollar company and you barely make any money on your YouTube channel or you don't make any money on your YouTube channel. Do you really think you matter to YouTube? Let alone, how is it that you're going to fix this? So let me give you the tech right now. If you're a small channel who's not making any money, you're not, you don't have any ads and you don't have a whole lot of subs or a whole lot of views coming in. I'm gonna tell you exactly right now how to get views, how to get subs, and how to how to really just start growing. Number one, 
and I say that really loud because I want the people in the back to hear it. Be fucking consistent. Okay, if you really want people to gravitate to your channel, you got to upload on a regular basis. I don't mean like daily. I like to do daily. I like to try to do daily. But give a regular fucking schedule so that way it establishes some type of consistency so I know when to expect you to see your fucking videos. Not only that, the more videos you put out, did you know the more videos that you put out, the more people see them? I'm just saying. I'm just letting you know that this is the tech. The more videos that you put out, the more people see them. Just fucking saying, all right? Just saying. I mean, is it crazy? Is it crazy to think that if I upload on Monday, I get views on Monday? Is that weird? Is that weird to think? Am I out of line for saying that? I'm just saying. And then if you upload on Tuesday, you get views on Tuesday. Even if it's just five views and you got 10 subscribers, I mean, and you got 100 subscribers and you got 500 subscribers and you get five views, you got five clicks, fam. Take what you can get and keep it pushing. So the next thing I wanna tell you is find the peaks and the valleys in, in the category that you are in. In gaming, everybody knows to ride the trends. When a new video game comes out, you fucking ride that shit, okay? So the fact that Fortnite is as popular as it is right now, I should be making Fortnite videos. The problem is I've already made Fortnite videos and I don't feel like going back to that game because I just don't have fun with it. Now that's another thing. That's specifically for gaming. And it also applies to other stuff. If you are not on the wave of, of new games coming out or something that, that you're not interested in, do not fucking do it. It is a waste of your time. If you do not play Call of Duty and the newest Call of Duty comes out, do not buy it. It is a waste of time. It is a waste of your energy. And it is honestly a waste of fucking bandwidth. Just to, just to really be real with you. You clicking that upload button is a waste of fucking bandwidth. Because I could have uploaded three more videos in your place, bitch. I'm just letting you know. Okay, so that's just really the real portion of it, alright? I mean, YouTube space is almost infinite. Almost. We haven't reached a cap yet. But, just to let you know, don't waste your fucking time. Because really, you're just going to come off as uninterested, unless that's your niche. Unless that the, that's the thing that you're going for, is to say why you're uninterested in doing this one specific thing, then hey, do you, bro. Do you. But if you're not interested and you don't make videos like that, fucking throw that shit out. It's not for you. Do only videos that you are interested in, okay? And then, uh, you know, tip number three. This is not that hard. Do call to actions. And what I mean by that is when you tell somebody, hey, please like this video please subscribe to my channel. Sometimes people be forgetting to do that shit because I still go to channels to this day and I forget that I'm not subbed to those channels. I just have to repeatedly go back every single day to find out, did they upload today? What the fuck? I don't remember. So that's also a thing. And I have to say the most important fucking thing that you need to understand as a potential YouTuber or as a current YouTuber. And I say that because a lot of my favorite YouTubers that I grew up with watching and listening and paying attention to make better thumbnails for the love of fucking God. Everybody just wants to make shitty thumbnails. Stop making shitty thumbnails and things that go hand in hand with that. Stop with the bullshit titles. Okay. It's okay to clickbait. Clickbait is literally the internet, but do not lie. There is a difference between lying and clickbait, okay? Do not lie. Clickbait you can make, lying you cannot, okay? Just don't, just don't fucking do it. Just don't fucking do it. And you know the fucking difference. If you put in your video that you, um, how to get millions of subs and blah, 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 or, or here's a wild one, new this type of gameplay or new this and you don't have a single motherfucking thing that is in the fucking thumbnail or you don't even touch up on the topic that's in the motherfucking title bruh boy if you don't get this bullshit up out my face man i swear to god but really that is probably one of the most aggravating fucking things in this world is just clickbait is okay lying is not understand that please and that's it those are all the tips i got for you all right we 19 minutes in your boy jay is just out here trying to trying to help you live your best life, fam. Anyway, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to leave those down below. Also, please hit that like button because I definitely need them. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. This has been your boy, Just Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon. <laughs>